Okay, finally got the Mose transfer switch back into the system. Uh, the way I've got this set up is the transfer switch is being fed from the inverter, which is this cable here going, just plug it into the inverter outlet, and that feeds the transfer switch there for battery power. It's also fed from house power by this wire, and I've used a, um, a 12 gauge uh, Romex with these ends, and I love these ends because they're telling me that the green, it illuminates. So this green light tells me there's power coming in. Um, I've got it plugged in in a different location. I can't see the, where it's plugged in. So this way I know I've got power coming in. And on my out, I've already talked, covered this before, but this is what this is feeding my air conditioner. And it's also illuminated to let me know that the transfer switch is feeding power to it. So again, you've got your power fed from the inverter. You've got another power feed coming from the house, these yellow wires here going into the transfer switch, and then it feeds this outlet right here, okay, at the 110. So what happens is it's simply gonna say, based on, you, you set up the parameters, so if there's enough voltage coming from the batteries through the uh, inverter, it will run off of battery power. But as soon as it sees that you've dropped down to, the, to that voltage threshold that you set, it automatically cuts over to the house. And I want you to look at the videos I did before testing this. I, I ran it through a hairdryer. It's excellent. It is a seamless transition. Um, the device I had plugged into the outlet never stopped. So as, as soon as it sees that it's about to hit that voltage, it cuts over to the house power and your, your hairdryer or whatever you're plugged in never ever stops running. So for me, there's two scenarios for this box where it's absolutely fantastic. The first one is where if I wanted to add additional life to my battery pack. So I've got these four uh, 100 amp hour feeding the inverter now and what I would do is um, I set the transfer switch to um, and I'm running whatever it is I'm running off of the inverter I, say, I want you to go down to 15 15 volts is what the manufacturer considers the battery pack to be full and I don't want to run below 15 volts so if there's electricity from the house as soon as the transfer switch sees 15 volts it'll cut over to the house and now the batteries are just getting recharged by the sun uh, with no load on them. So you're protecting them then. If you're never going to go below that threshold with whatever you're using here on the box because the transfer switch will automatically cut that back over to use in the house power. The other yeah. place where these little boxes come in really handy is for anything you're running that we would call mission critical. It just has to be on all the time. And you're trying to run it primarily off your solar setup. Um, say you wanted to run your uh, internet router off this and you're running it off your solar your solar power and then as soon as in, now in that case you'd set your threshold on your batteries a lot lower because you're not trying to protect them you're really just trying to run something solid and then as soon as um, the transfer switch would detect that your voltage has dropped to a threshold that you would set it would automatically cut back over to the house power so you're not um, losing whatever device you've got plugged in because your batteries have hit um, too low of a threshold. So um, it's a great little option. It's just nice to have and um, super inexpensive. Take a look at, again, please, at the, um, the video I did in the past where I set this up and tested it, and you're going to be amazed at just how well it runs. And um, fantastic little option, pretty inexpensive.